Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching jQuery for Beginners Lesson 22 and this video is going to be about sliding elements. Wow. Alright then gang, so jQuery gives us two methods called slide up and slide down and despite their name, they don't actually slide elements anywhere on a page. They're just variations on the methods fade in and fade out or show and hide in that they remove content from the document and then reinsert content to the document. And they do this via the height property. So the slide up method reduces the height to zero and it animates that. And the slide down method restores that height to whatever the original value was, okay? So let's take a look at these two methods. Now you'll notice first of all, these two buttons that have added right here, they are simply div tags like that. They've got a class of slide button up and slide button down. Now I've styled these in the CSS to make them look like that. I'll show you that briefly. And if you wanna copy this, you can just pause right here and you can take down all of these different rules, okay? And then once you've done that, we'll zoom back over to the JS and we'll start attaching events to these buttons. So I wanna attach the slide up, sorry, the click event to this button right here so that inside this function we can slide up this banner, right? So what I'm gonna do is copy this class going to control C over that and then I'm going to paste it in here the period first then control V paste it in now when we click this button this function is going to fire and in here I want to slide up this banner now I need to get the ID of this banner to slide it up and it's right here this one here so I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to paste this with inside the jQuery wrapper just like that okay now I can use the slide up method and that's all there is to it guys Okay, so now when I click this button here, it's going to slide up this banner. Zoop, like that. Pretty cool, yeah? And we can do the exact opposite by using the slide down method. So we're going to copy this right here. Copy and paste it here. I'm going to change this to down because that's the class of this other button right here. So when we click that other button, we want to slide the banner back down. So I'm going to change up to down there also. Save that. And first of all, we'll slide it up. Then we'll slide it down. Pretty cool, yeah? Awesome. Right, now we can pass through some parameters here. We can pass through the speed or the duration of the animation. So for the slide up, I'm gonna make this about 100 milliseconds. That's 0.1 seconds, so really quick. And then down here, we'll say 4,000, so about four seconds for the slide down animation. So I've saved that, then we'll try this again. This is gonna be really quick going upwards. Yep, zooms up and then slides down really slowly. <laughs> All right. So, we can also pass through a callback function if we want, and we know how to do that. We can say function like that, and then in here do some kind of callback method, whatever you want to do. Don't do an alert, this is really amateur. Uh, I'm just doing this as an example. I'm gonna say animation complete. Let's put our semicolon at the end. Save this and refresh. So now when I slide up, there's no callback function there, but when I slide down, we have got a callback function, so when it finishes, it should throw this alert up. So let's do that. Slide down really slowly. And just in case we've missed it, there it is. The animation is complete. Just in case you didn't know that, guys. All right, so let's click OK. Now there's one more method I wanna show you, and that is slide toggle, right? So where is slide up and slide down, slide them up and down, irrespective of what they were before. Slide toggle will slide it up or down depending on what it is before, okay? So I've deleted that other event right there on this slide down button, and I'm just gonna use the slide toggle method on this button right here. So when we click it the first time, it should slide up, and then when we click it the second time, it should slide down because it's slide toggle. It slides up or down depending on what it currently is, yeah? Let's change this to a 1,000 as well so it's not so quick and do that. All right, there we go, perfect. And like the other method, uh, methods, we can pass through a callback function just the same way like that. We can say alert animation complete like that. And then this is gonna throw an alert up every time an animation completes, okay? Like that. So there we go, guys. That is the slide methods in jQuery. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to throw a comment down below. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and I'll see you in the very next video.